the girl sees her father kissing the teacher. She asks if the teacher came to see her. She responds that her father asked to help with the girl's homework. The daughter asks where her mother is. The father says that she will arrive later, and tells the teacher that it is better to leave her to help his daughter tomorrow. And the teacher agrees. And they say goodbye. The father asks his daughter not to tell her mother anything. And he says that if he tells his mother, she will be sad. And her daughter says she's fine. Dad says to be a good girl. And the girl leaves. The father says that there is her backpack. And he says to check if all her school supplies are inside. The mother arrives at that moment. She greets her daughter. And she says she misses you. And she apologizes because she came home late from work and couldn't teach her homework. The daughter says the teacher came to teach her. The mother doesn't understand. The man tries to disguise it and says that his daughter means that the teacher created a group on her cell phone so she could exchange information and answer students' questions. The woman asks if she managed to do her homework. The man says yes. And the woman says she needs to go and says goodbye to her daughter. The father asks if he didn't ask to say anything. And he says that this was the agreement, and the daughter has to comply with what they agreed. She says yes. And she tells her daughter not to repeat that. The man receives a call. And then he gets up to speak elsewhere. The daughter gets up. And she sneaks up to her father. The man is talking to his lover. And the daughter hears everything. The man says he is going to see his lover. And the daughter is perplexed by the conversation between her father and her teacher. And the man says goodbye to the teacher and says that they will see each other later. The daughter returns to the sofa. She takes her mother's glasses and puts them in her backpack. The girl goes to the room. And she takes out a car key. And she keeps it in her backpack. The teacher goes to the girl and asks what she is still doing there. The girl says her father is at work and asked her to ask if the teacher can take her home. The teacher says she can. The man goes to pick up his daughter from school, and wonders where his daughter is. The teacher asks if her father will be late, and the girl says no. Her mother appears. And she tells her daughter that only her sunglasses were in her bag, and the other one wasn't. And she says she still had difficulty at work. And she asks who the woman sitting there is. She responds that she is the girl's teacher. And the girl's mother says she calls her daughter by another name. And the teacher says she calls her by her first name. And the mother says she only says her daughter's first name when she's going to fight with her. And the woman asks why the teacher is here. The teacher comments that the girl asked her to come and bring her because her father was at work. The woman asks if her father didn't come to get her. The daughter says no. 
The teacher says she thought it was strange too, and asks if the woman is the mother. She answers yes. The teacher says she finds it strange because she thought her mother was absent. The woman says she didn't understand this unfortunate comment. Because she is the one who takes care of her daughter, and also pays for her education, food and everything her daughter needs. And the teacher begins to understand the situation. The man arrives and is surprised. They both call it love. And they don't understand. The girl asks what is happening, and the man doesn't know what to do. The girl says she is the man's girlfriend. And she adds that he was separated from his daughter's mother. The woman says she is married to the man. And she even asks if the two of them stay inside her house. The teacher says she is as much a victim as her wife. The man says to talk and resolve it. The woman says she has no explanation and no conversation. The woman tells the teacher that she doesn't want that kind of man. The man tries to speak, and she asks him to shut up. The woman tells the teacher that she can have the man. Because she's the one who pays the household bills, and the man doesn't do anything, he doesn't look for a job or anything, and he's not even useful for picking up his daughter from school. The confusion begins to increase. The teacher says she is leaving. The woman says it's better. The man says to talk. And the woman tells him to leave her house now. The mother goes to her daughter and hugs her. And she tells her daughter not to be discouraged by this, because they will find a way. The man goes after his lover. She asks what he wants. He says he cares about her. The lover says he lied and didn't say he was married. He comments that he didn't lie, and the truth is that there is nothing between him and the woman anymore. The girl says it's a lie. The man says that his heart is all for the girl. She tells him to forget her. And she says she doesn't want a man like him. And she says it's all over. The man tells her not to do that. He calls for his lover, but nothing helps. And he sits there frustrated. 